Dear friends, today's story is about a group of people who have been mentioned many times in the Bible and from whom the Jews kept distance, the Samaritans. We will look at who they were and why the Jews kept a distance from them on the basis of the Bible. We understand that the Jews kept this distance from the New Testament. The events leading to this, however, took place many centuries ago. Before going into that, let's have a small look at the history of Israel. Around 1400 BC, under the leadership of Joshua, the Israelites possessed the land of Canaan and formed the nation of Israel. According to the word of God, Joshua allotted the inheritance among the tribes of Israel based on lots. The land of Samaria was given as inheritance to Ephraim and Manasseh, the sons of Joseph. This was a majorly hilly area. The wells that were dug by Jacob, their forefather, was also there. After the death of Joshua, about 350 years, Israel was under the leadership of judges. Then the Israelites asked God for a king like the nations around them. God agreed and gave them Saul, a Benjaminite, as their king. Saul, his successor David, and his son Solomon ruled for 40 years each. But during Solomon's reign, he took many wives from the Gentiles. They turned Solomon's heart towards foreign gods. Angered by this, God gave the kingdom to his servant Jeroboam. According to the covenant he made with David, instead of giving the entire kingdom to Jeroboam, God gave two tribes to Rehoboam, son of Solomon. Jeroboam became king over the rest of the ten tribes of Israel. Thus, the ten tribes in the north of the divided kingdom was known as Israel, and the two tribes in the south were known as Judah. In that, Samaria came under the northern kingdom of Israel. There was a succession of kings in both kingdoms. Omri became the sixth king of Israel. He bought the hill of Samaria from Shema for two talents of silver, and he fortified the hill and called the name of the city that he built Samaria, after the name of Shema, the owner of the hill. He later made Samaria the capital of Israel. There were many kings in Israel, but none of them showed interest in keeping the commandments of God. Because the temple that Solomon built was in Jerusalem in Judah, it also became a reason for northern Israel to move away from God. They built altars in their kingdom and burnt sacrifices. Though God sent prophets to bring them back to God, they did not listen to that and followed the customs of the people around them. Then God handed them over to the hands of their enemies. And Assyria, the powerful kingdom at that time, fought against them and took the Israelites into captivity little by little. In the ninth year of Israel's nineteenth king, Hosea, Salmaneser, king of Assyria, took all the Israelites into captivity. Thus, kingship in Israel, which lasted for only about two hundred years, came to an end. And the king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Kutha, Ava, Hamath, and Sepharvaim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the people of Israel. And they took possession of Samaria and lived in its cities. Though they started living in the land, they did not know the law of the Lord and did not fear him. So the Lord sent lions among them and they killed some of them. When the king of Assyria heard this, he sent back one of the priests whom he carried away to teach the law of the Lord. But all of them still served gods of their own while also fearing the Lord. Though Judah knew why faithless Israel went into exile, they did not repent or change themselves. Then, after 136 years, God sent unfaithful Judah also to her enemies. By this time, Babylon had defeated Assyria and become a great nation.
Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king, captured Judah and took them into captivity to Babylon. After 70 years, the Persian king Cyrus allowed the Israelites to go back to their land if they wanted to. Under the leadership of people like Ezra and Nehemiah, many of them returned to their own land. They repaired the temple of God and built houses and settled in many parts of Israel. The Jews are people who take pride in Abraham being their father. Because God had chosen them from among all the nations of the earth, he had commanded them not to mix with the Gentiles. However, many times they failed in obeying his command. Yet they portrayed themselves as a people set apart from the world. So though they had returned to Israel, they decided not to mix with the Gentiles who occupied Samaria during their absence. Though they had returned to their homeland, they lived under the ruling of kingdoms such as Persia, Greece and Rome. So they did not have the authority to wipe out the people of Samaria. Samaria is located in central Israel. So whenever they had to move through Israel, they decided to go around Samaria instead of going through it. It was in the middle of Jews who honored God with their mouth, but whose hearts were far from Him, that Jesus Christ was born and lived 33 and a half years. But God, who knows the heart, came down to earth for the great joy of all the people, that is salvation. During Jesus' public ministry, he went to Samaria and preached the gospel, and many people believed in him and accepted him as their Messiah. God does not show partiality to anyone he creates. We find proof of this in the scriptures. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, Jew or Gentile, believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We hope this video was useful to you in understanding who Samaritans were and why the Jews did not like them. We will see you in the next video. God bless you.